sorry, Miguel Heinz. My name is Michael Heinz from Germany. I'm a Divine Word missionary. I worked for over 20 years in South America, especially in Bolivia. At present, I'm the president of Adveniat, linked to the German Episcopal Conference. My name is Father José Boeing, a Divine Word missionary, born in the state of Paraná, and I have been working in the Amazon region for the past 29 years, especially in the area of social justice and justice and peace, and also um, uh, very much linked to the issue of land ownership. I would like to share with you what we are living here in Rome over the past few days by participating in the Synod for the Amazon. The two of us uh, have been invited to take part in the Synod. José, as representative of the Superior General of the Divine World Missionaries, and myself as President of Adveniat. What uh, is at stake at the moment, or rather the issues being raised, are the issues that uh, came up over the past two years during the phase of preparation for the Synod, and uh, became part of the working document of the Synod. Over the past two weeks, we took part, first of all, in the Synod Hall, listening to the interventions in the plenum, and then we had group work. We are over 200 people in the Synod Hall, especially bishops from the 108 dioceses and uh, prelazias representing nine different countries which form part of the Amazon. Also, we have indigenous representatives also Many uh, women are participating here with us. Within the overall theme, which is New Horizons for the Church and for Ecology, especially in Latin America, we can pinpoint some of the main themes, uh, the whole issue of land ownership, the rights of indigenous peoples, the situation of Afro-descendants, migrants, and the whole issue of, I, uh, of ecology as lined out in Laudato Si. We could summarize by saying the defense of life in its various aspects. It's interesting to see how a whole story is evolving from the meeting in Aparecida in 2007 up to the present time. Disciples and missionaries, the theme of ecology, the situation of indigenous people. Now we have the Synod for the Amazon, but also for the whole church with the issues of ecology, climate change, the indigenous people in the Amazon and their situation. Many themes that are being discussed are also very relevant to the SVD in the world, especially our interculturality, inculturation, or we can also say the SVD with cultures and dialogue with cultures. The SVD in the Amazon is also uh, linked to Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, Brazil, and some of the other countries. And we have to think of a church, fully ministerial. The church, not just for cultures, but the church with cultures. That is our dream. Interculturation is being very much discussed in the Synod, so therefore it's a theme that we are very much interested in. As I mentioned to our Superior General last week when we were invited to share our experience with the General Council, I, uh, I mentioned that participating in the Synod is like participating in a general chapter of the Divine World Missionaries, because the themes that are being discussed are many of the themes that we also discussed during our general chapters, anthropology, ethnology, uh, ethnology the translation of the Bible, the biblical apostles, justice and peace, the situation of indigenous peoples, human rights, interculturality, 
we have to see how all these themes can are very relevant to the SVD and how the Synod can now help us to deepen our mission awareness and our missionary commitment. The main point, or one of the main points for us after the Synod, is to discuss the Church as being synodal, and which means working together, deciding together. In other words, how will we conceive diocesan uh, councils? How will we conceive diocesan uh, and parish councils? Also, we have to deepen uh, the whole issue of formation for lay people, how to conduct our SVD formation, missionary formation for those who come from other countries or situations. What is the basic attitude that should underline their presence here in the Amazon? That means what is the basic attitude, attitudes of missionaries coming here to work in the Amazon? Amazon for an inculturated mission. We also need seminaries for indigenous people, or at least one seminary. We need to deepen our sense of initial and ongoing formation. Especially as an international society, this is very important for us. We have to think again the formation for mission, so that we don't do things alone, but journey together and decide together. This is a point that we need to take up after the Synod. But at present, I'm living with a group of bishops, and they have said to me a few times, you, as the Divine Word missionaries, are the biggest missionary society in the church. Could you not help us with personnel? What can we do so that you can come and help us in our day-to-day -day living? We need, as SVDs, to think this in the Pan Am zone, also on a subzonal level. It's also relevant for the SVD worldwide. We have only one region in the Amazon, but there are nine countries altogether involved in the mission to the Amazon. Further, we can include Brazil Central, São Paulo, which has a mission in Humaitá in the Amazon, also in Rondônia. At present, we are discussing the reorganization of our presence in Brazil, especially in the light of the fact that we have three provinces and one region. We need to take into account our mission when we discuss reorganization. We need to have Amazon features when we speak of mission. For example, indigenous symbols in our liturgy. We even speak of a right for the Amazon region, or, if you like, adapted to the local situation. We need to think not only of my territory, we also need to think of inter-congregational mission in the light of the challenges in the Amazon. Furthermore, we don't speak anymore about missionary visits. We need to speak more and more about our missionary presence. This is a theme very much at heart with Pope Francis when he says that that we need presence uh, when we speak of mission. Also, we need interculturation in our mission. There is also another very important point, which is the role of women in our communities and in the church. In practice, it is the, the women who pass on our faith to the family and pass on faith also to the children. They are very much present in our parish activities and in all our communities. As Divine Word missionaries, we have to give the women more space and responsibilities. 
We need to rethink the whole issue of ministries. Here we have discussed the issue of the diaconate also for women. Probably it will not be part of the final document of the Synod, but it's a way to raise the discussion and the whole issue of the value of women in our communities and in the church, and also it is a way to give more importance to women who contribute so much to our mission. For me, one last point, the SVD should be open in all parts of the world to the themes raised during the Synod. I would like to say a very special word of thanks to our Superior General, Budi Clayton, for all his support during this time of the Synod. I am very happy myself to be part of our worldwide mission, naturally, especially in the context of South America. Thank you all for your support in every sense of the word. Nosso agradecimento a todos vocês. I would like to motivate our conferences in many parts of Asia, like Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, in Africa, for example, the Congo, because they also experience much the same situation as we experience in the Amazon, such as the ecological issues. And as Divine World missionaries, we have the Synod, which, can, which has given us new input in our mission as Divine Word missionaries. Thank you.